We've got our masks on. Health officials now believe the Wuhan coronavirus can be transmitted from one person to another. This is ground zero. Security asked us to stop filming. Police just asked us to leave. We just stepped aboard a train leaving Beijing. We're headed to Wuhan. That's considered the ground zero of this coronavirus. Concerns over the spread of a deadly illness are rising. As soon as we boarded the train from Beijing, most faces covered. Just about everyone traveling home for the Lunar New Year. Strict screening upon arrival. One by one, passengers step through a thermometer check to make sure they are not bringing a fever with them. Typically, coronavirus symptoms include a runny nose, cough, sore throat, headache, possibly fever, which can last for several days. For those with a weakened immune system, there's a chance the virus could cause a much more serious respiratory tract illness like pneumonia or bronchitis. Health officials now believe the Wuhan coronavirus can be transmitted from one person to another. Face masks are spiking in demand, so much so that a search through Chinese online retailers shows some stores are running low and several more are sold out. So this is where authorities believe the source of the coronavirus is. It's the wildlife and seafood market. And you can perhaps see over there, it's cordoned off. You've got police at all the corners. It is so sensitive that within minutes of us arriving and recording, security asked us to stop filming. So police just asked us to leave the market area. They said we have to get official permission. And once we get that permission, we can come back. The reality is we won't be granted that permission. So instead, we're able to drive now through it, but you can see they've closed off the entire market area. No shopping is going on, no business whatsoever. It's just empty. They shut it down on New Year's Day, trying to ease fears, suggesting they can handle the virus. But the number of cases continues to rise, both inside China in major cities like Beijing, Shanghai and Shenzhen, and outside. I would believe that this Wuhan outbreak um, was caused by animal virus, and then the animal actually carried this virus and spread to human. And what we know is causing pneumonia, and then they don't respond to normal antibiotic treatment. These animals, we don't know their history. We don't know what kind of pathogens or viruses that they are having in uh, their body. Behind me, this is one of a few hospitals here in the region that's dedicated to treating some of those who are either confirmed cases or suspected cases of the coronavirus. Out front, you've got a few staff members who we notice are all wearing masks. Some of them are even wearing protective gloves just to prevent any potential exposure. <laughs> We at the National Institutes of Health here in Washington are already getting the sequence from the Chinese of the virus and of developing a vaccine. But in any situation, you're talking really about several months to years. So there's not going to be a vaccine for this thing readily available. We're going to have to rely on classic good public health measures. As hundreds of millions across Asia travel for the Lunar New Year, there is concern that this virus can spread in places like airports, places like railways. It's brought the normally festive holiday mood in Wuhan to a halt. It 
right. And the reality is this is not just a Chinese specific travel holiday. This is a regional holiday. So you're going to have folks from other countries, neighboring countries, in fact, who are also going to be traveling. They're certainly putting measures in place as of now. They have put these airport screening devices not only here in China and going into Wuhan, but also in places like JFK in the States, LAX, San Francisco, and of course in Japan, South Korea, and Thailand now. So they're, they're trying to take these precautions as best as possible. A rush checkout sparked by a 3 a.m. phone call. Our rush right now is to uh, check out, get out. We headed to the train station as soon as we got word. The city of Wuhan, China, essentially going on lockdown. A drastic effort to contain the spreading and deadly coronavirus. As we arrived, crowds already lined up for tickets, stretching out the door. It's 4.15 in the morning here, and the only way to buy tickets at this hour uh, is in person. Okay. We're good? Yeah, good? All right. What time do we leave? Uh, 7 a.m. 7, all right. Pretty, is it at this station or is that another one? Another station. We've got to go to another station? Yeah. Okay. It's a station closer to the city market. To the market where, oh great, so, to the market that's shut down right now, uh, the source of all of this, uh, to try to get a 7 a.m. train. All right, we've made it uh, aboard the train. Departing shortly for Beijing. Some are making the difficult choice to be apart, sending their young children outside the city limits while they stay to face the unknowns back home. So the city of Wuhan essentially on lockdown. But a lot of health experts are now questioning whether this will really be effective in containing the virus, or is it a few days too late?